Barry Hawkins showed a lot of really good form last week at the Masters. A terrific match against Christopher Trump. Played each other quite a number of times too, haven't they? The record wouldn't say it was great for Barry Hawkins, but in this best of seven, anything can happen. Mm, first safety error from Barry Hawkins. And, and a little test there, this first chance of a pot for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Lovely. Not into the middle of the pocket, but a good pot nonetheless. Mm. Got into the cue ball, but just not enough. Needed away from this side cushion. Three. Always missable. Digging down on the cue ball. Ronnie Sullivan free. Of course, at the Masters, he beat Mark Allen 6 0, which uh, the scoreline was a big surprise to how well Allen had been playing, but he <laughs> controlled things so well. Top quality safety player, one of the best in the business. Uh, I think he's a very clever player, Barry Hawkins. Uh, black in an open position and Ronnie O'Sullivan I'm sure will take on one of these reds into the left corner once again good test of your queuing this one and just one part of Ronnie O'Sullivan's game that is not as good as anybody else's is long potting it sometimes lets him down well, you'd say the only small and I mean very small weakness in his game One. Oh, that's a nice little kiss. Is he on the black? And, um, most importantly, he's also got position. Has he been in a lot of finals? Barry Hawkins. Eight. Including the Players' Nine. Championship last year. Lost to Neil Robertson. Just before that, he was in the Masters final. Of course, he's lost to O'Sullivan in the World Championship final. Thirteen. When he won this... Very tournament in 2017. He made five centuries in the final. Ooh. Well, that will uh, annoy him, disappoint him, maybe concern him. Well, he's slightly fortunate there, Barry Hawkins, to cover. The red that he missed. Well, he may take this red on into the right middle. Yeah, good shot. Just lost the cue ball One. slightly, but just held up. Very tough into a blind pocket. Oh, digging down, making it even tougher. Cue ball going into the red. It's missable, this. Very missable. Barry Hawkins won. Once again, he's been a little bit fortunate. Okay, he's left this red up to the green pocket, but going into those reds, it could have been something a little bit more straightforward for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Lovely pot. Eight. Well, you see it now. He needs to get a nice angle on the black one, putting this red. Nine. Could have done a little bit more of an angle, but he's okay. Well, it's pretty close to that red, but I think he's just about okay for this red into the left 16. corner. Yep, almost straight. He's won two tournaments, 17. two invitation events, Hong Kong and Champion of Champions, but they don't carry ranking points. Sort of standard of ranking events don't inspire him as much as the, the big one table tournaments, maybe. Of course, this is a slightly 24. different one, though. There's only 32 here. There's only two tables here. And, of course, he did win it last season. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking to see if you can get a nice angle on putting this red on the black. 
Just to try and nudge maybe one of these reds towards this left corner pocket. Mm, a bit too hard. It's gone wrong. And it's not ideal. He's 38. left with a very difficult red along this top cushion. This requires top quality queuing. Very difficult shot, this. Oh, that's excellent. Really is. Brave shot. Cued it beautifully. Well, Hawkins had a couple of chances. He uh, missed a straightforward red, then a much more difficult black. His next chance, will he get another one? 47. And this is the beauty of Ronnie O'Sullivan. When he came to the table, I mean, he wouldn't have thought it was a frame-winning chance by any stretch. Well, he just develops reds beautifully. Such a genius when it comes to the break-building department of his game. Nobody like him. Fifty-three. Yes, yeah, I did. Sixty. Soft screw that black into the corner pocket and hold for this red. He could have gone in and out of bulk. Yeah, well played. Excellent One. shot. Well, he's been very businesslike here in the way he's played this first frame. And he's taken this chance well. 67. 68. Well, we haven't had a tournament in Cheltenham for three years, so the local snooker fans 75. here have been waiting a while to see him again. Are they going to see a Ronnie O'Sullivan century in frame one? Every chance. And you start with a wonderful red up into the green Eight pocket. And a few shots later, everything in the open, but it's Eight very three. nicely crafted break. This it wasn't certainly Eight wasn't six. easy. What a start. And Barry Hawkins will be disappointed. He had his chance. Missed that red, the black off the Nine. spot. This is O'Sullivan at his best. Nine, five. Wonderful one. century from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Another one for the list. Number 1,194 for those of you counting. Ronnie O'Sullivan gets the night underway in style. 108 clearance to lead. Barry Hawkins, 1-0. Well, as ever, Ronnie O'Sullivan has brought the people in tonight, and as you can see... Yeah, wonderful. You get the crowd in, great atmosphere. A chance, another long pot. Not so much pressure on here. There's a gap around the back of the black and back up for maybe blue or ball colour. Yeah, that's better. Lovely shot. One. Didn't play it with a lot of pace. Just played top of the cue ball. Now, yeah, just working out what his next red will be. Trying to swing that cue ball up this left hand side of the table. Just give him a couple of options. Trying to get on that red Three. just to the right of the black. If he's not on it, he has the red into the right center. Four. Yeah, a little grimace from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's a little bit reluctant to go into the pack here because of the pink is so far away from the pack. So he's playing for the red just near the top cushion. Nine. It's okay. Ten. 
This is a more sort of rounded display so far. Eighteen. And always first chance tries to bring twenty five reds into play, even though we that may be reds on, but just that one 26. shot into the pack just lodged about four or five reds and can just pick them off now. It's got at least four open reds here. And that will be another twenty two points with blacks if should he take them. Thirty four. Forty-one. Forty-two. Get straight on the black a little. You'd be disappointed with that. We still got the red over the right centre. You can screw back for that red on the left cushion. You can play this left hand of the course. Forty-nine. Already he'll be working out in his mind. He put red, black, and then maybe red, blue with that red over the middle. But he's got to find one more red in colour to leave 50. his opponent needing a snooker. So it's maybe a little bit of hope for Barry Hawkins just yet. Now, unless he, if he doesn't get a good split, and he hasn't, but is this red cuttable into the right centre? 58. Wow, he didn't dare drop. 58 ahead. He's going to need one after this blue. One more red and colour. 63. I'm not sure where the cue ball is going, so he might have to play this with a little bit of pace. 64. Well, Ken says he still needs colour here. He's got to be careful because if he missed the pink and tries to play on a red, he could be gifting Barry Hawkins a really good chance. He's missed it, but look at the way he's played the cue ball. 64. An element of safety. You don't normally see that from Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's a very clever way of playing it. <laughs> Half chance for Barry Hawkins. He can chip this red in and still get on the pink. 'll well, if he can pot this then Hawkins needs snookers. Yeah. Another terrific pot. He's got his business head on here this evening Sullivan. he's playing good stuff, treating Hawkins with every respect and getting the results he wants so far. We're only going 27 minutes. he's going to be two nil up. Five six. Oh, lovely shot. Bringing that red into play. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, and I totally agree with you. You know, just maybe some tournaments during the season that just don't rock his boat. Maybe doesn't get switched on mentally for them, but he looks very, very switched on tonight, that's 25. for sure. 26. Thirty-two. Thirty-four. Thirty-seven. Forty-one. Well, he's done very little wrong so far. Forty-six. Barry Hawkins has it all to do from here. It's only 2 0, but it's how well O'Sullivan is playing. So, a couple of half centuries there 64 and 52 from the world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan to lead Barry Hawkins 2 0.
has he left Ronnie on this red at the bottom of the pack? He has, it's a major error. He has, you know. He can open the reds and stay on the black here. Oh, well. I didn't expect him to miss that. One. Yeah, and you really got to score. Eight. It's not often you're going to be left with easy chances like this against Ronnie Silva. But when you do, you've got to take them. You've got to put pressure on them. And that is not going to put any pressure on them whatsoever. Barrow wow. eight. A little bit too anxious on that. But either way, he's missed it and no damage done. In terms of the score, but it'll be some damage done, you fear, here by O'Sullivan as he comes to the table, already playing well. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Wonderful shot. I mean, he played that into the Eight. pack with the bottom on the ball. Just watch, he knows exactly where he's sitting there, and he's screwing into the reds, knocking that red towards this right corner pocket. Nine. Great shot. And once again, tries to get the balls open as early as possible. And once he has the opportunity, never balks at taking it. 17. Difficult cutback here. And he's got to play with a lot of left hand side to check the cue ball off the side and the top cushion. Dismissible this. Well, he didn't check it, he played it through the gap. Oh. Couldn't have played it any better. Watch him play and think, how is it possible <laughs> to play this well? 31. Yeah, I think we're, you know, blessed to witness this era. 38. The likes of O'Sullivan and Mark Williams who won today and John Higgins who all... I think that triumvirate of players, David, I think almost inspired each other. Still going, the longevity is still lasting. We sort of kept each other going in a way. Ronnie O'Sullivan is... Yeah, it's just a blessing to watch him play. Fifty-three. Needs another red. Sixty-five. Yeah, didn't get on it as intended, and he has missed it. So. There's Wrong a little bit of a glimmer 65. here for Barry Hawkins. He can still win the frame. Fifty-seven behind, still sixty-seven on the table, so plenty of points to work with. But hold on, he's not finished yet. <laughs> Never any doubt. Six. Seven. Good pot. No angle on the black, but I think both of those reds may pot into the right centre pocket. I'm saying the right hand one. Fourteen. Well, once again, not a red that you'd expect him to miss. Okay, there's a bit of pressure on it. Well, you'd expect him to get those reds. And it would have been a great chance had it gone in. Just been too many, haven't there, this evening? One. Barry Hawkins' pot success at 65%. And it looks like 3-0. Seven. Eight. <coughs> Eight. 
assuming he gets any more chances. This frame's gone. Ronnie, so Same way as the, the first frame. two to Ronnie O'Sullivan, who's on the brink of victory after just 40 minutes of play. He leads Barry Hawkins here in Cheltenham by three frames to nil. Bearing in mind how well he played last week at the Masters, which has been very disappointing for him. O'Sullivan, no breaks of 108, 64, 52, 65. Well, doesn't get better than that. What a humdinger this is. Beautiful. And getting topside of the blue. Six. Seven. Doesn't look great. Wanted to be low on that black. Maybe the red into the left centre pocket. Available. Fourteen. If the red goes in, he gets a nice position on the black. He go into the pack then. Looks pretty good. 15. Excellent shot. And he's got a nice angle on the black. He's got to hit that red directly above the black. He's got to hit that almost full ball. If he hits it to the right, you could lose the cue ball. Yeah, he didn't get it right. Full ball. 22. And there's this red available into the left middle. Lovely shot. Nicely picked out. He's on the green. It's okay. He's got a nice angle to back up for the reds. Just left of the pink. No. Ronnie Sullivan, 23. Hello, Boris. One. The only thing about these matches, they are short, so you know if you could win this frame, it's not actually that far back from 3 1 down. Normally very proficient with the rest, one of the best in the in the game. Pretty good. 14. If it was Ronnie O'Sullivan, he'd be straight into the the pack of reds, bring them all into play. Now, yeah, there's your look. Twenty-one. Well, he's been unlucky. He hasn't got an easy red. Well, it's a really good pot considering Twenty. some of the ones he's missed tonight. So he's suddenly pulling all these pots out. Another good one on the blue. 27. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. It's not great. Can he get out for that red into the same pocket? I tried to play it for the middle, but well, lost the cue ball there. Forty-three. He's going to refuse the part and play. Try and play a telling safety shot. Hawkins, it's pretty good. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Black again, the angle. As you can see, it's fantastic. He's trying to play for the red into the right center. Now, Ronnie trying to play off two cushions here, just clip the red. If he misses it, he could leave a free ball. And a miss, Barry Hawkins, four. This could be a free ball. And a free ball. Now, well, it's worth taking this brown on. It's a free shot. Brown ball. Yeah, he's <coughs> taking it on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I bet that looked good when he hit it. Oh, this looks pretty good. Good line with the cue ball. Very good shot. Foul. Ronnie Sullivan, four. Well, this Hawkins goes in off. Once again, it's gone wrong. Five. Trying to play for that red, just below the pink into the left corner pocket. But just got the jaws of the corner pocket. And he was always leaving the Bar possibility of a pot for Ronnie O'Sullivan. His own natural angle is cue ball back up into bulk. Oh, we could be very lucky here. That wasn't meant at all. So we'll take it. It's a long way away. Foul and a miss. Ronnie Sullivan four. Ronnie's got an option here. He could put him back in or take this red on. Nope. And this time. He's left it. One. Oh, what a shot that was. So well did he cue that. <laughs> well, after playing such a wonderful shot, the red. Five. Well, that's one of his worst shots that he's played all season, that brown. And what a chance missed. Well, this has been the, the problem tonight for Hawkins. It's all been bits and pieces from him. Either of these reds pots into this corner pocket. And he's definitely on the outside one. Well, once again, a long way away. Just gone too far for the the black. I don't think the pink is potable. Maybe the green. It's all about pace. This. Nearly went in off, but he still got a shot. Four. Yeah, one so one four. it was the first red, wasn't it, I guess, where he finished. One. Well, he's not on this red. Three. <laughs> Well, this is amazing. I don't know many chances he's had in this frame. But... This looks pretty good, though. Yeah, good shot.
Well, he needs red and colour. Well, if he plays this with any pace, he could miss it. If he drops it in dead weight, he's missed it. <laughs> As I said, if he played that just dead weight, he was never going to miss that red. But the fact that he had to play with a little bit of pace, it was missable. Well, he's handed O'Sullivan a golden chance, you've got to say, to win this match now. One. <coughs> No. Oof. <laughs> well, it looked a little bit wide, didn't it? Six. Definitely wasn't into the middle of the pocket when he's okay. Eight. This looks meat and drink, but there's still just a bit on this just to get it one. Eleven. Yeah, we saw earlier in the frame and Ronnie sort of missed the chance. He's so I'm slapping his, his tie as he went back to the chair and shows you how much he wants to win tonight and how much it means to him. Pink and black for victory. 20. Yeah, you can't win as much as he has without being a fierce competitor. And it does matter when you're out there, whatever you tell yourself. Bottom line is he needs the black and he's won 4-0. That will to be very disappointed with his performance tonight. But Ronnie O'Sullivan will be delighted, I'm sure, to be through to the last 16 of the World Grand Prix, where he'll face Thailand's Nopin Senkam. He's done it in just over an hour, beating Barry Hawkins 4-0. Mm -hmm.